Hey everybody, welcome back to Comic Book Theater. Jay here with another phenomenal Beast Morphers um, action figure review. So today I got the Beast Spots, which is Smash, who is the Blue Rangers Beast Spot. And then I have um, Ace, who, I mean Cruz, I'm sorry, who is um, Devin's, the Red Rangers Beast Spot. Alright, now... They do come with their little keys and um, for their Morphex Morpher, which I'm going to go over. Uh, let's get that out of the way first, okay? Oops. And Cruz already getting so excited, he forgot his place, you know, because Cruz is very forgetful. Don't forget that, you know. You got can't forget that Cruz is forgetful. That's his flaw. So, we'll turn on the Beast Morpher. We're going to start with Smash. Activate it. Great. Doesn't want to go all the way in today. Okay, there you go. Let's smash this! Blue Ranger, you're so brave! Those are the only two original things he says, Let's but we'll go through it. Let's smash this! Rangers, it's go time! Let's go! Unleash the beast! Let's smash this! Okay. Now his morph is going to be a standard, regular are you morph. Ready? Say, it's morphing time! Let's smash this! Again, regular standard hero more. Let's down. Let's do some battle sounds. Unleash the beast. Standard music. Again for that. Standard lights. And post is the standard hero sounds. Standard one, so I don't have to do that for Cruz. So I'm not going to do any of that for Cruz. I'm just going to um, put his in and see where it goes. Moto mode activated. So it's just one saying. Then he Let's says, take a spin in the racer "Those are his other two, but I'm just going to go through Moto it to see." Rangers, it's go time. Let's go. Unleash the beast. Moto mode activated. Let's take a spin in the racer door. So those are his, okay? Um, again, I'm not going to go through the morph and everything because it's the same exact standard hero morph. Alright, so let's just put these two back. And these do fit on their hands as well. So that's their weapon for their um, their arm. I'll show you on Cruise because it goes on um, Smashes, but it goes here on Smash. And I don't, it, it kind of gets stuck. So I'll just do Cruise. It goes just like that. It goes on that for smash. Take it off. Um, and it becomes the key. And these do fold in. Uh, Smashes is a little bit more translucent than anyone else's. Like, no one else has any translucency to theirs. Smash has a little bit. You can see that. Like, see, you can see a little bit of the translucent there. It's a nice. I think Smash has the nicest key so far. Honestly. Alright, so, um... Let's get back to, and uh, Cruz also comes with his little missile, but I'll show you that when I get to Cruz. So smash it first, okay? Let's see, articulation. He has head to the side up to there because the steering wheel head um, face comes up to there. So same thing with this one. It goes all the way up. It doesn't go up and down at all, but he does have full facial spin, okay? Which if you watch Go Busters, is something that he does, and he, I don't think he's done it yet on um, Beast Morphers. All right, arms complete. Um, turn around. He has good bending up. It goes straight in the back. Um, also, he does have a elbow twist that does go all the way around. But the, the wire tube, you can take it out and see, it will go all the way around. So, um, legs go all the way up, but very limited on the back swing. Okay, so all the way up, but very little on the back. He can sit. So, let's bring in the morpher and show you him sitting down. So, as you can see, he can sit on the morpher, just like Zoe did. Um, but he's a bit heftier than Zoe, so 
You got to give him that. He has a little bit more meat on his bones than Zoe does. Um, and his action is he can shoot his fist, which I'll show you in a second. I want to have him shoot Ravi for not giving him that hug in the first episode. So he wanted to hug Ravi. Ravi said no, so he's going to get smashed. Let's see. He didn't get smashed with that one, so let's see if I can do it with this one. There he goes, and I knocked out my whole background. He was really disappointed that Robbie didn't give him that hug. But, let's take a look at those hands. Now, these hands are disappointing because they're fire hands, so um, I was going to try to um, modify these, get another smash and modify a set of hands. But as you can see, the, there's contour in this. Like, they're supposed to be flames, so you get the yellow, you get the gold, you get the orange, you get the ember colors. You know, like, you get all these colors in there to make it look like flame. And the design on it is very flame-like. You know, it has a um, a flame-like design, design. So these are fireball hands. These aren't just regular fists. These are fireball fists, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to still customize it. I might. Because this is the only cruise that we're getting, as far as we know so far. Hopefully, your two maybe will give us one with sil silver hands. But if not, I'll probably just buy another one and do them up with silver. Just because I want that in there. You know, I just want him to be more screen accurate for me. Alright, now, going on to Cruise. Cruise is pretty cool. You know, um, he does come with this attached to him. So, this is permanently attached as you can see is a little uh, metal pin in there it can't be taken out so this does not remove people don't try to keep forcing it out you're going to break your toy all right um let's see his arms go all the way around um his about just below the elbow turns around he does have an elbow joint I believe, right? Doesn't he? No, he doesn't. I'm sorry. No elbow. No elbow. Yeah, elbow joint. That's how you say that word. Um, his legs go up like this and back like that. So you can do a full split. His back of his legs are hollow because that's for the transformation. He has a um, pin here that goes into that slot and a pin here that goes into that slot. Neither one of these really fit that tightly in. So, um, that's for transformation, though. Um, and this piece comes um, unattached when you first buy it. You have to um, put it in there. And it looks like it should be able to come right out. Because it doesn't look like it's a hard piece to come out. But I'm not willing to do this on camera with, you know, risk, risk breaking it. So, I'm not ever going to take it off. Um... But to change form, you just pop this up, head goes in there, basic, fold the legs up, um, squeeze these pins in there, you know, put those pins in the tabs, then you swing these arms around like that, and you put this up like that. This hand goes around a little bit, and it gets snapped into these pegs okay um and it goes like that that's him in motorcycle mode oh i almost forgot um this can go on cruises um wrist as a rocket launcher which shoots out um fairly nicely or it could be like um a muffler you know it could be an exhaust i meant not a muffler an exhaust so it could be an exhaust on the bike itself and smash almost forgot comes with this guy um, as you can see it snaps onto the back you can take it out and you can have it on his arm as a shield okay so now the thing a lot of people are saying is can Devin actually ride the bike or can any of the Rangers ride the bikes and we're going to see Devin because Devin is his owner so what you want to do is the answer is yes by the way you just want to push up his um, feet a little bit 
push them up and out a little. You want to go like this. Turn the um, elbow at that point, you know, just like that, so it can slide right in. Turn this elbow. You can probably do that before you put them on there, like I did when I first saw this video. And um, there he goes. He's on his bike. Let me just fix this kickstand so he stands up without falling. And um, I just want to show another person on it because, you know, Devin is cool and all. Standard. You expect the Red Ranger to fit on a Red Ranger bike, right? So let's take him off, right? And blue and him are the same, so we don't really have to show blue. So I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is instead I'm going to show Zoe. Now Zoe is a um, female red, ra um, female yellow ranger with a skirt, because not all yellow rangers have skirts, but you know all female range, most female rangers, because there's a couple that did not like um, the SPD team. They did not have skirts, but they come with skirts. And now a big problem with that is it makes them unflexible, you know, but. Bandai solved that problem by putting a simple little slit in there and making it of a material that actually pens. Oh my god, it's a malleable material. So, let's see if she can go in there. Let's get her arms in place first. So, you turn them around like that, you know, so this way she can get on. Let's bend her legs out a little bit. And let's put her on here. Put her arms on there like that. Her arms on there like that. And yeah, she can take Cruz for a spin, people. You gotta just flop that skirt up a little bit in the front. There you go. She's taking Cruz for a spin, people. This is something that probably wouldn't be able to happen if this was by Bandai. You know, Bandai probably would not have made the skirt that flexible. Um, and I don't have the SH figure arts but I'm pretty sure that um, from what I've seen of her because the skirt did not look flexible on the SH figure art um, I'm sure that she wouldn't be able to fit on Cheetah and Nick for that you know so that's just there you go so Cruz is getting ridden by Zoe Devin's gonna be watching be like what and that's it. So, um, yeah, overall, pretty solid, um, figures. I like them. If I had to, um, this, these are only the $14.99 price point, so it's not like, you know, you're going to get super articulation out of any of them, but I think they're really good articulation. It's just like the $9.99 price point for the, um, standard line with the blue, red, and yellow, and, of course, you get um, Blaze and the Tronics in them. You can see the review for those over in another video of mine. Um, but I think that you get a fairly nice thing. You know, they do get the two weapons because you get this and you get that. And you get um, this and you get that. Especially with Cruise. I think Cruise is the bigger deal because you do get the two forms too. But, out of them, I will probably say Smash is my favorite. Um... He's just a really cool looking figure. And again, the only thing that would be better is if these were silver. Like if he came with regular fists that you could pop in there that were silver, I'd be all over them. But I might buy another one just so I can customize those fists because I really want to see silver fists in there, you know? So I might do that just for my own little quirkiness. Uh, but yeah, overall, great video. Um, great um, figures, I think. Hasbro is killing it with the toys so far. I will be back in a couple of weeks with the Lightning Collection when that comes out. I'm getting all of them, so I'll be reviewing each and every one of them. Uh, I'll probably do them individually. This way you can really see them up close, and it won't be a long video. And then um, I'm also going to be getting Roxy and Jax in the summer, so look forward to that in like June, July. And then in the fall, I'm going to get Wave 2, and I'm going to get uh, Gold Art and Wave 2 of the Lightning Collection. So come back and join that, as well as the, um, the Zords, I'm sorry. Also be getting the Zords, so come back and see that. Uh, hope you guys check out the rest of the stuff on the video. I did do a video customizing their jackets. As you can see, it has the silver on it, 
and the silver on the GB symbol right there. So you can see that over on my customized uh, video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And keep going back to Comic Book Theater and check out ComicFrontline.com. May the power protect you.